And here we're going to show the procedure to sh replace a blown fuse. This would apply to primarily your outdoor air conditioner or heat pump, but it also does apply to the indoor unit on a heat pump. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, open the cover. Now this is a very common disconnect. Others are slightly different. This will give you the gist of the uh, operation. So with the cover open, generally you have a pull handle. And so you want to use, you know, a little bit of restraint. In other words, hold the box down as you give a good firm tug on that pull. Set it aside. And then the dead face grill covers everything up. And just it on this model popped out. Several models have one screw holding it down. So once you've exposed these fuses, as long as everything's been installed correctly, these fuses are de-energized. Then as much as you're not going to get shocked by touching those fuses. There are two screws that are recessed quite heavily, and those are the only ones that have power in this mode. So what you got is two uh, fuses. To replace these fuses, take them to the hardware store and match them exactly. So they have information on the label. If you go ahead and pull one out, we'll take a look at that. Sometimes a small screwdriver is required, but uh, as you can see, you know, they're supposed to be tight. If they're loose, that actually requires service. So on the label, you can see it gives, I'm going to zoom in, a size there. In that case, that one says 40 amps, but this is 40 amp time delay, and that is the appropriate fuse style, the time delay, for air conditioning equipment. Now, the size of the fuse, that matches the label plate on the machine or match the fuse you've taken out. So, once you've gone to the store and then got two new fuses, place them very similar to the way they came out. Now, they must seat firmly. In other words, make sure that it's completely down the way you took it out because these things do have kind of, uh, they're trying to orient the fuse in a particular way. If that fuse doesn't look like it's seated properly, it's not. So as you can see, these have bedded down, they're tight, and the ears look closed around them. Then you replace the dead face. And then the pull handle is usually a bit of a challenge, but that one went in nice. Close it back, make sure it latches nicely, keep the rain and the sliders out of it. And that's all it takes to changing a fuse.